Hello, this is Annie, and this is just a quick tutorial on how to make a podcast in GarageBand. What I've done here is I've already opened GarageBand in my, from my dock, and when it opens up it says New Project, and then it gives you an option of which type of project you want to make. I'm going to choose Podcast. It's going to ask me to name the podcast, and I'm just going to call it And then these are set at default. It's going to save it to my desktop. I'm going to leave all that the same. Hit create. When podcast or when GarageBand opens, it's going to give you a choice of different tracks that you can record on. I'm going to use female voice to record my voice for this podcast. And here's the record button. And this starts and stops the recording. So I'm just going to record really quick. This is my podcast tutorial and it's going to be super awesome. So I'm going to stop there. If we want the red line to quit moving, we can hit the space bar. We can go ahead and listen to what we've recorded by pulling that red line back to the beginning and hitting the space bar again. This is my podcast tutorial and it's going to be super awesome. Okay, and if you don't like how you sounded, you can you can edit it by I can just remove that end piece. This is my podcast tutorial, and it's going to be super. And I didn't get it in the right spot, but it, if you have a small amount of audio, it's a lot easier if you just kind of want to get rid of it. You just hit delete. You just select it and delete. And so I'm going to pull that red line back to the beginning, because wherever that red line is, is where the recording will begin. So this time, I'm going to record again. This is Annie, and I'm making a podcast tutorial in GarageBand. I'm going to stop that again. I'll pull it back to the beginning. This is Annie, and I'm making a podcast tutorial in GarageBand. So that's pretty good. I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to pull this back to the beginning. And so now I want to make it a little more interesting. So I'm going to, I'm going to add some sound. If I come over here to my media browser, I choose audio. And it'll give me a lot of places in my computer where I can pull audio from. I'm going to go ahead and click this I. And this will give me um, a list of the menus that GarageBand has um, for audio. And there's a lot of audio available in here that you can pull from. This is all of them. And here we have jingles, which is all music. We have stingers. And stingers are like small little sound effects. <laughs> that type of thing. And then there's also sound effects. And so we'll do an animal. Here's a dog bark. Um, for this one, I'm just going to use jingles. I'm going to go ahead and choose jazz. In, in each one of the folders, there's a lot of different um, songs you can choose from. And over here, it shows you the length. They each have kind of a long, medium, and short version usually. I'm going to choose 44th Street Song, which is the short version. That's 13 seconds. Sounds like this. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull that into my Jingles track. Right now, um, these two things are happening at the same time. And you can leave them at the same time, but you might want to turn down the audio on your music if you're going to let it play when you talk so you can still be heard. And it would sound something like this. This is Annie, and I'm making a podcast tutorial in GarageBand. And that sounds pretty cool, but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make the music fade out. So I'm going to turn it back up to about the same volume as my voice. And then I'm going to come down here, and I can go ahead and just select part of this to take out because I don't need the music that long for my introduction. Bring it out here and I'll hit delete. And then I'm going to move my voice down towards the end. And so right now the transition would sound something like this. this and that's too sudden. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a fade out. And how to do that is I'm going to come up here, hit track, and then fade out. Now this is the line 
that things are going to fade out and it's showing it right at the end of my recording and that's not where I want it. I want it at the end of my music and then to have my voice come back up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some circles here by clicking on the line and then I'll have it just start fading out gradually, a little lower, a little lower, a little lower, and all the way gone. And then I don't want my voice to be faded out there or here, so I'm going to pull both of these back up to the to the line. So let's listen to how that sounds. This, well, it looks like we got a little bit of music left in there, so we're just going to I'm just going to move this and and then we'll add one right here. Let's see how that sounds. I added another one to see if we can get rid of that little blip of audio. This is Annie. So that sounds pretty good. And now, let's listen to the whole thing. Here. This is Annie, and I... Sounds great. So now at the end, I want to have a little bit of music too. So I'm going to grab that 44th Street short again and add it right here at the end. And I don't want it quite that long again. So I'm just going to delete. We'll leave it here, you know, under 10 seconds. And then I've got my voice on the level that I want it all the way through. And so now I'm going to make this fade out again. So I'm going to add my dots by clicking on the line. Pull it down, pull it down. It's gone. There we go. So it will sound like this. This is Annie, and I'm making a podcast tutorial in GarageBand. Sounds great. Um, if that's where you're going to end it, you can find your little purple arrow down here and you can slide this line. This is the one that tells your red line where to stop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it right there. So now it won't go past that. Now I'm going to add some pictures and I can do that by going back to my media browser, clicking on photos. It'll give me all these options of places that I can look for pictures. I'm going to use Photo Booth and I'll put this little chalkboard picture up here and I can slide these around I can change their length. I'm going to make these change at the transitions. Let's put this picture of me in there. And you can make them have gaps between them or be right after each other. And let's put one more picture in there for the very end. Let's do, we'll do this butterfly picture that will work. And you can smush that right up against there. Change the link so it ends right with your music. And now you can preview um, how the pictures are lining up with your audio and music and everything in this little window. So we're going to hit play with the space bar. This is Annie and I'm making a podcast tutorial in GarageBand. Perfect. So I'm going to keep it just like that. I'm going to hit save. And now I want to share it. So I'm going to come up here to my share menu. I'm going to drop this down and there's Quite a few ways that we can share this. We can send it to iTunes. If you've made your a website in iWeb, you can upload it to iWeb very easily. You can export it to a disk, which means save it to your computer, 
or you can burn it to a CD. What I'm going to do is export this to my desktop. And when I come here, it's this is the default. I'm going to leave it on musical because I have music on my podcast and it'll handle my voice just fine. And then I'm going to leave this set at the recommended size and hit export. It's exporting as podcast and it's saving it to my desktop, which is perfect. I'm going to hit save. Now it's creating a mix down. And it should be on my desktop when I minimize. So here is podcast. And I'm going to right click. And I'm going to show you this in QuickTime. Here we go. This is Annie, and I'm making a podcast tutorial in GarageBand. So that's how you make a podcast in GarageBand. Have a great day.